हाय पिछले कुछ दिनों में इंडियन इक्विटी मार्केट में एक स्ट्रॉन्ग बुल रन चल रहा है निफ्टी अराउंड 18,200 पॉइंट्स और सेंसेक्स ऑलमोस्ट 61,300 पॉइंट्स के आसपास ट्रेड कर रहे हैं ऐसे में बहुत से इन्वेस्टर्स का ये कंसर्न है कि वो ऐसी कंपनीज में कैसे इन्वेस्ट करें जिनका पी ई रेशियो काफ़ी हाई है इसलिए आज के स्पेशल वायरल रिएक्स एडिशन में हम फेमस अमेरिकन इन्वेस्टर और फॉर्म ऑफ फंड मैनेजर पीटर लिंच के एक इंटरव्यू के क्लिप्स दिखाएंगे और फिर उस पर कॉमेंट करके आपको समझाएंगे कि उनके हाई पीई कंपनीज में इन्वेस्ट करने को लेके क्या विचार हैं अगर हम पीटर लिंच की बात करें तो वो मैकेलिन फंड के मैनेजर थे जहां उन्होंने 1977 से 1990 के बीच में 29.2% के एवरेज एनुअल रिटर्न्स जनरेट किए जो कि एस 500 इंडेक्स से कंसिस्टेंटली डबल था जिससे ये दुनिया का सबसे बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग म्यूचुअल फंड बन गया था तो चलिए बिना और देरी के शुरू करते हैं आज का वायरल रिएक्ट वीडियो तो चलिए पीटर लिंच के इंटरव्यू की पहली क्लिप सुनते हैं। well, poorly, terrific, sudden, decline, so say, 60, haircut. That's what you would do. You not not a stock that went from overpriced to fairly priced. Something that was fairly priced at the start of this exercise and then had a very, you know, a 5 for 4 sale, you know. Peter Lynch ke according, aapko hamesha market corrections ka fayda uthana chahiye. Agar kisi company ke fundamentals strong hain, uski earnings achhi hain aur wo apne competitors ke comparison mein bhi acha perform kar rahi hai, to iske chances kafi zyada hain ki wo company ek premium pe trade kar rahi hogi. लेकिन आप मार्केट करेक्शन के समय उस कंपनी को थोड़ा डिस्काउंट पे खरीद सकते हैं इसके अलावा कुछ फंडामेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग कंपनीज ऐसी भी होती हैं जो ऑलरेडी फेयर वैल्यूएशंस पे ट्रेड कर रही होंगी तो करेक्शंस के समय आप ऐसी कंपनीज को बहुत कम प्राइसेस पे बाय कर सकते हैं चलिए अब सुनते हैं सेकेंड क्लिप इफ यू है I would have been researching like crazy. I would have been saying which companies are the same story. Is there anything really happening? This is a non-event for them. They're still doing well. Even if we have a recession, there's nothing to do with them. And that's the kind of kinds I would try to buy. But let's say if a company, just think of it, this as being, you say to yourself, I think this company's going to earn something in the future. If it's already discounting that, if it's selling at a huge multiple, you say it's already, it has to work. And then it's only going to stay even. So you have to say to yourself, if I'm right, how much am I going to make? If I'm wrong, how much am I going to lose? That's the risk-reward ratio. In stock shop, we talk about If I'm right, I hope I'm going to double trip my money. If I'm wrong, may I lose 30, 40%. That's a favorable ratio. If you say if I'm right, the stock's not going to go up. It's already discounting terrific things. If discounting terrific things are already in the stock, I don't want to own it. Okay, so this morning you get up and you go in and you look at at those companies that fit that that, you, that you know something about. Right. You have to have an edge. I mean, you, let's say the cement industry goes from crummy to semi-crummy <laughs> to fairly good. <laughs> yeah. The stocks are going north. Right. You're going to make money. That's the industry you know. When if you know the publishing industry, you you some people have you have an edge. You work. I mean, when if you last 30 years, you work in the restaurant industry. You would have seen Taco Bell. Right. You would have seen Sabaros. Right. You would have seen Pizza Hut. You would have seen Chili's. You would have seen these companies doing very well. You should have bought those instead of trying to buy biotechnology stocks exactly. you know nothing about. I mean, I know nothing about local area networking. A lot of people are buying this Cisco. They're buying the equipment, saying we're going to root together all these peripherals and put together the servers. Well, they, but but that's not a bad buy because they own a huge percentage of their market. You no, know, but that was they're saying only a few people had that. Money. My God, if it works for us, other people try it. Then colleges will try it, high schools will try it, then they'll go overseas. They knew they were early in the ball game, right. and they should have been buying that company instead of out buying something they don't know anything about, some oil drilling company. I mean, people have this tendency to always buy something they don't. All, all you right. need is a okay. few. Charlie, all you need is a few good stocks. Yeah, a this is your song. This has been no, your song no, for a long time. No, Only buy what you know. No, but people are waking up in the morning and say, "There's 5,000 companies out there. Which one should I buy?" The, the average person ought to be able to follow four or five companies. They ought to be able to lecture on them. इस क्लिप से हमें ये सीख मिलती है कि सबसे पहले हमें एक डिटेल रिसर्च करके ऐसी कंपनीज आइडेंटिफाई करनी चाहिए जो आगे चल के अच्छा परफॉर्म कर सकती हैं. एक इम्पॉर्टेंट बात ये है कि जो कंपनीज हाई पीई पे ट्रेड कर रही हैं उनके स्टॉक प्राइस में उनकी फ्यूचर ग्रोथ को ऑलरेडी डिस्काउंट कर लिया जाता है इसलिए हमें कंपनीज की वैल्यूएशंस और हमारी रिस्क प्रोफाइल दोनों को अकाउंट में लेके ही इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए इन्वेस्टिंग में रिस्क रिवॉर्ड रेशियो बहुत ज़रूरी होता है यानी कि अगर आपकी बेट सही हुई तो आप कितने प्रॉफिट्स अर्न कर सकते हैं लेकिन अगर आपकी बेट गलत हुई तो आप कितना कैपिटल लूज़ करेंगे और क्या आप वो रिस्क उठाने के लिए तैयार हैं या नहीं 
ये फैक्टर्स को ध्यान में रखते हुए ही आप हाई पीई स्टॉक्स में इन्वेस्ट करें इसके अलावा आप जिस भी कंपनी में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं आपको उसके बारे में इन एंड आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन होनी चाहिए ताकि आप स्पेक्यूलेशन के बेसिस पे अपने डिसीजन ना लें चलिए अब नेक्स्ट क्लिप सुनते हैं वॉट We can take I got a to buy business. We can about. take a coin out and flip it. I have no idea what the next thousand points is going to do. The next six thousand points can be up. The next fourteen thousand points can be up. The next twenty thousand points can be up. But you don't know what the next thousand is going to be. Nobody it could be does. Down, could be up, could Nobody be. does. And, and it's futile to try and guess it. Corporate profits will be a lot higher ten years from now. They'll be a lot higher twenty years from now. That's what you could rely on. Microsoft didn't exist twenty years ago. Staples didn't exist twenty years. Federal Express didn't exist twenty years ago. New companies will come along. That's what Cisco makes stocks didn't exist 20 years ago. That's what makes Amgen has two one billion dollar drugs. They didn't exist 20 years ago. New companies have come along. That's what makes this country work. You got to keep your eyes open. यहाँ हमें ये सीखने को मिलता है कि कोई भी शॉर्ट टर्म में मार्केट के बिहेवियर को प्रिडिक्ट नहीं कर सकता है। इसलिए आपको शॉर्ट टर्म में स्पेक्यूलेशन या गेस करने के बजाय मार्केट के ओवरऑल लॉन्ग टर्म ग्रोथ पोटेंशियल पे बैठ लेनी चाहिए ऐसा करने पे आप हाई पी कंपनीज में इन्वेस्ट करने के रिस्क को काफी हद तक रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं। चलिए आप सुनते हैं आज के वायरल रिएक्ट्स की आखिरी क्लिप All right. So you're optimistic about the future of the American economy. Earnings potential for right. most well-run companies will do all right. But people have to understand we've had nine recessions since World War II. We'll have other recessions. But we're not in one now. But we may goodness. have one in the future and don't get worried about it. It will happen. Sometime it'll happen and we'll, no one will tell you when it's going to happen. It's just But but won't the fundamentals tell you? No, you'll find out after the fact. You'll all of a sudden you'll notice orders slowing, prices get more competitive, then earnings are down. I mean, usually you find out after that. No one declares. Everybody's been saying we're going to have a recession for five years. It just hasn't happened. It's great to see you. I okay, hope you'll Charlie. come back anytime, people. This clip se hamen ye seekne ko milta hai ki market mein corrections aur recessions kabhi bhi aa sakte hain. Aur aapko unke liye hamesha prepared rehna chahiye. Sharp corrections ke samay panic na karke. Agar aap as an investor is situation ka fayda uthate hain, to aap achhi companies ko discount pe buy kar sakte hain. तो ये थे कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट लेसन्स जो हम आपके साथ शेयर करना चाहते थे ताकि आप करंट मार्केट सिचुएशन में रैशनल इन्वेस्टिंग डिसीजंस ले सकें आशा करते हैं कि आज का ये वीडियो आपको पसंद आया होगा इसके अलावा हमने एक नया ट्रेडिंग चैनल भी लॉन्च किया है जहां हम हमारे व्यूअर्स को ट्रेडिंग से रिलेटेड सभी कॉन्सेप्ट जैसे कि चार्ट इंडिकेटर्स फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एट्सेट्रा बड़े ही सिंपल तरीके से एक्सप्लेन करेंगे तो आप ज़रूर उस चैनल को भी चेक करें हमने चैनल का लिंक इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दिया है हम आपके लिए ऐसे ही इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोस वापस जल्द ही लेके आएंगे हैप्पी इन्वेस्टिंग बाय बाय Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and/or other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.